Hi guys, I'd like to foo-foo this, but I can't. I'm sorry, Chad. Well, I'm happy, Chad. I just can't. Just seems to be something that the Lord showed me. Um, when? Communist invasion dream. So, from the vantage point where I was in this dream, I looked down and it was dark. There was roadblocks. There were a lot of army vehicles people being stopped then I looked down the bank from where I was now I was in Dunedin which is a town a city I know that there's two roads out this is the main highway out I don't know why the Lord showed me this but I knew that it was the main road out oh, some of these places just have the one road and that's don't need him. And in my spirit, I knew that Christchurch, well, that just has sort of one road out as well. So it's a checkpoint, right? Then I looked down the hill, and this little girl who'd come from the Falls Church, she was outside the bus. It was night. We'd already seen Mariah Carey and the New Year's Eve fireworks that ended up being bombs which we saw was reminiscent and the date was Satan where they sit on the bench to seat he sits with the bug and he's got the red horns and he's looking at the bombs coming down right well that's what the fireworks turned into anyway this little girl look is just like shocked she's saying look i can see and i can hear her saying she can see feet and hat. she said feet and hands and i thought what's she looking at and i had a look wow there were vehicles the army vehicles they opened the back and people soldiers looked very regimented very organized very communist state sort of behavior with their little spades digging up what looked to be like ooh, not even a foot deep covering in grass underneath pre-prepared bunker just all in a, in a grid just digging in unison and um, the truck had tipped out these bodies and they were thrown in this pit that's my dream okay how was it confirmed well it's really strange actually <coughs> this is um, January 2019 I tried to search someone out. A man called Patrick I was building with him, but I got the wrong person. Anyway, I've befriended this stranger. During the initial impacts of the, um, you know, the city lockdowns and everything, he was doing an OE. Nice young man. But um, very, very brave and silly. He was enjoying himself through France and Europe and England because he had the city to himself. Everyone was in lockdown. Once he got to France, he thought, mm, he got a few warnings to go home to New Zealand. Well, he made it home, which was really nice. But um, he took some photos along the way. And it was just after I had this dream. I was saying, oh, get home, get home, get home. I was following him on Facebook. Anyway, took a photo of a bridge. You know that famous one, the, is it Tiananmen Square? Well, I'm not a historical person, but basically you got your tank, you got the little happy-faced man holding a flower. I think that one gets run over, and that was a, that's that's what they try and squash in the the army, the communist army, right? Were they they they're trying to wipe that history. Well, he he's he posted a picture of that this is after my dream so yeah I look at that and I'm oh, like well that's interesting isn't it and then I get a phone call out of the blue talked to TJ at the time made friends with TJ have I maybe a wee bit later I'm just lying in bed having an afternoon nap and the phone goes and I get up and I answer this phone there's a stranger on the other end I can find this phone number, it's not blocked. It's not private. And this is what he says to me. How do I get to the front? Checkpoint Charlie. 
That's what he says. And I said, beg your pardon? He said, how I get to the front? Checkpoint Charlie. And I said, who the hell are you? Go, God, right? Strange phone call. Then I laid in bed and I thought about it. Wow, Checkpoint Charlie. Let's Google that. So it's a special place just outside of uh, Russia. Yeah, the Americans set it up. Called Checkpoint Charlie. Where does this, where's all this going? Where's all this going? Well, there are main roads out of cities, aren't they? Why would the Lord give us a heads up? Why? We're talking about New Zealand. Sounds strange to me, doesn't it? To them, we small town. You know, what are we? We're nothing. Well, we have a communist invasion as well. Let's have a look at what Chad's got to say. I got a few things for you. Here's the first thing. I just spoke today with someone who, on condition of anonymity, someone very close to me, who is best friends with somebody that works for Pilot. Um, and it's obvious because they have a high position in that corporation uh, and they don't want to lose it. So on uh, condition of anonymity, I was told that, now they're best friends with this person that works for Pilot. I was told that uh, the fuel situation is indeed true, um, at least with Pilot. I can't speak for all companies, but I'm sure they're going to be having supply issues too. We see it coming. We know it's been coming. We know it's on the way. So I'm assuming, just assume it's going to be with every petroleum station. So that being said, I'm going to be making a video about Cordon and Search, which is a typical uh, strategy that the armed forces uses when they are cordoning, which the definition of cordon means to surround an area or building with lines or a circle of troops uh, when they're cordoning a small town or a city or parts of a city or even just a building. But for our purposes, we're going to have a town here. You saw the legend. It's a highway, river, road. Now, when they, when they do these things, they surround the whole area and they get all the choke points, all the roads, the highways, um, the bridges, and then they send forces through and push through the town and they go block by block, building by building, floor by floor, and then that's how they get everybody. I will be doing another video after this one to continue. May Yeshua bless and keep you all always. I got a few things for you. But interesting, really, isn't it? So why is the Lord bringing me full circle? 2020, yeah, it's 2021. Anyway, after a couple of days, I thought, I wonder who that person was. You know, because I hung up on them. And their phone number, I saw their phone number, and I thought, oh, I'll ring them up. Well, I didn't ring them. What I did was message them. I said, Why'd you message me? Why'd you ring me and say checkpoint Charlie? I said. And they said, Oh look, it was wrong number. Just don't you're making too big a deal of it. That's what he said. You're making too big a deal of it. I have documented the screenshot of that phone. Uncle. There's a mystery in it. Well, I just think, well, it's a heads up from uh, him, and it's a heads up from me. It's not so ridiculous, is it? You've got to know the time of the season. Checkpoint Charlie. Think about your city. 